hey hey everyone and uh, welcome in it's a monkey mar before we get into today's video please make sure you uh, click that subscribe uh, button the bell for notifications and of course the like all right guys let's get into today's a uh, sad update the body of Cassandra Contrell was found and they broke the news yesterday. So let's go ahead and touch on a few of these articles and my thoughts and prayers go out to Cassandra Contrell's mother, Marie Smith, and her twin brother. I am very sorry for your loss and may Cassandra rest in peace. And with that, guys, let's get into today's video. If you saw my Monday update, I'm pretty sure it was the previous Monday, I will go ahead and attach that above, where I spilled the beans on the name of Cassandra Contrell's boyfriend and the name of his live-in girlfriend. So let's get into this article, sad article. Ex-boyfriend arrested after body of missing pregnant Parkland woman found. This was yesterday, September 22nd, 2020. Out of Tacoma, Washington, the Pierce County Sheriff's Office said Tuesday, that it has arrested the former boyfriend of a missing Parkland woman whose body was found Tuesday after she vanished last month. Investigators said Colin Patrick Dudley, 37, was taken into custody at his home in Tacoma without incident in which the SWAT team unit was also deployed to the residence. A spokesman for the sheriff's office said the man was booked into the Pierce County Jail on suspicion of murder, it was not immediately clear if Bond had been set in the case. And of course, we are going to go look into that because as I do these cases, I do not look into the information until I've got you guys with me. So investigators said they were glad they were able to solve the case. It was a lot of work and we're happy that there is a resolution for the family, said Sheriff Spokesman Ed Troyer. But we are also sad for the family. Cassandra Contrell, 33, went missing on the morning of August 25th, 2020, after she left her family's house in Parkland, Washington. The sheriff's office said her remains were found along a steep hillside along Chambers Creek Road in University Place. We would go and do a drive-by and check out the area. Her mother, Marie Smith, said Contrell had a doctor's appointment for her first ultrasound and had also planned to go grocery shopping but she didn't have any money on her and her ebt card has not been used before we get into finding his arrest booking mugshot and we'll go by the scene where she was found this is how they pinpointed where she was pierce county sheriff's detective almost immediately narrowed in on an ex-boyfriend believed to have fathered Contrell's baby. They recovered surveillance video after Contrell's Mazda 3 sedan was found abandoned in Tacoma showing the ex-boyfriend arrive at a parking garage in her vehicle and leave in a truck. Who was driving the truck? Girlfriend? Divers also recovered Contrell's cell phone in the waters off Owen Beach. Just before noon Tuesday, the investigation led detectives to 64th Street West and Chambers Creek Road in University Place where they found Contrell's body about a hundred yards down a cliff. Rescue crews used a high angle ropes operation to recover the body. This is sad ending, but this is the ending we expected, Sheriff's spokesman Ed Troyer said. At least now we can get closure for the family. It's starting to look like maybe the girlfriend or whoever was driving the truck. Not going to speculate, but I know that she was actually questioned at the scene. I'm not sure if they took her in to the police station because her name is Rebecca, I think. It's in my last Monday update video. I will look at her name real quick again. So let's get into the area where Contrell was found and let's see if we can find mug shots. She's cleared everything out too. Like all of that used to have a little information in it. It's in my last video. But let's get into the area where Contrell's boyfriend lived, which is right here. That's the house. It's not a secret. It's all over the news. And we also know that he has a truck. They seized the truck a while back and I don't know if they found anything in the truck, but obviously 
he dumped her car and then got into a truck. Was that his truck he got into? And was Rebecca Fisher driving? I guess all of that is going to come out in due time. Let's go see the area where uh, Cassandra Contrell was found. Horrible. I feel so bad for her family. It's just like you slept with her. She got pregnant. But you had to kill her. You couldn't have just let her be and told her maybe you didn't want anything to do with the baby. But no, you had to take the bad way out. And everyone has to hurt because of your senseless, senseless crime. I don't know. Yeah, it could be. There's the bus station that they spoke about. Okay, so this is the intersection where they said that her body was found. And the bus station is back here. So I went and found the exact location. And it is... Right... Oh, this is so sad. So right here is the no parking sign. This is where the officers are parked across the street. And on the video, the officer is parked right about here. And the reporter is standing right about here. And that must be the thousand foot cliff that's behind there. It's the only place in this area. But like I said, the picture that is all over is the officers are parked along here and one officer is blocking the way back here and it looks like they're walking down through here as they're walking back and forth let's go back into an area real quick so here is the guardrail right here let's go back down here for a second the bus station there across the street at the guardrail which is right here and you can see the officers walking down through here so this is definitely the location you've got the three signs coming back one two and three around the bend and you've got the buses that are parked along this fence line. All right, let's go jump over to his uh, booking information. I found it, but I have not looked for what is his name? Uh, mind blank, mind blank, Dudley, Dudley. This is three hours later, guys. Coming to finish this video. So here we go, Colin Patrick uh, Dudley. Let's go ahead and open this up. Booking date and time was 9-22-2020 at 17.50 hours. And we've got booking charge. So we've got murder one, murder in the first degree, felony, superior court, Pierce County, superior court. And then we've got, my internet is slow. And then we've got to come into here and then it explains what the murder and the first degree charges into the state of Washington. So I also checked Pierce County for a booking on Rebecca Fisher and there was no listing for her. So I'm going to stay on top of that and see if anything comes about. That is what I have on the update. And let me say this again to Cassandra Contrell's mother, Marie Smith, and her twin brother. I am really, really sorry for your loss. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. So I want to thank you all for coming in. Thank you for watching. Please like or dislike, whichever you prefer, and subscribe. I want to wish you all a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world and stay vigilant. I am out.